Well, it's still deer season, but as you can see from the photos, I have a small issue with raccoons. Okay, there's lots of them. They're everywhere. They're getting into the grain. They're all over the place. I've got coon cuff traps, which if you've watched my earlier trapping video, I caught a possum in. Um, they work well. I tried setting them a couple of weekends ago, and the coons got all the bait out of them without actually setting off the trap. I didn't have any raccoon bait. What I'd done was torn up some bread and stuffed it in there. They literally picked out all the pieces of bread and didn't grab the, the trigger once. So I'm going to make up some actual coon bait to go into this. Thought I'd show you how it's done. <laughs> Raccoons love fish. They love oily fish. So one of the things that's really easy to catch raccoons on is good old cheap cat food. This bag I paid a buck eighty for, and this is more than enough to last me a while. I also bought. A can of tuna packed in oil and a can of sardines packed in oil. So this is what I'm going to use to make raccoon bait. So I got me a mason jar here. It's usually a little bit better to use a wide mouth mason jar but I couldn't find one this morning. For the tuna fish I need a can opener. So we're going to go ahead and pop that. I'm going to take this tuna first. There we go. Get that lid off of there. I'm going to go ahead and put this tuna, oil and all, directly into this mason jar. We want all that oil in there. All right. Now, this can of sardines, we're going to go ahead and pop that top and peel it. Ah, look at that. Sure smells like sardines. I do enjoy sardines. Don't eat them very often. We're going to go, oh, oh, crud. Yeah, I just poured it all over the table. And... Get the sardines down in there. And I got the oil on the table. I'm scoop up some of this. I'll clean that up. Don't want to waste any of that oil. Now I'm gonna add to this a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil. That oil will pick up the smell and flavor from the sardines and the tuna. Let's go ahead and mix this up. I want to break up the sardines in there. There we go. Get that all squishy. Alright. Now that we've got that in there, we're going to open this bag of cheap cat food. No real measurement here. I am just going to put some in. To find some, well, we'll start with a couple of handfuls. We just really need some crunchy bits in there that they can grab hold of. Make that three handfuls. About equal amounts of tuna, sardine, and cat food. Should do it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and seal that up. I'm going to let this sit overnight before I use it. Um, I'm not going to set the traps till tomorrow afternoon. Based on what I see deer-wise tonight and tomorrow morning, 
Um, or I mean, yes, yeah, Saturday afternoon. It's Friday right now. Friday, Saturday morning, Saturday evening. Yeah. Saturday afternoon, I'm going to go set a couple of coon cups out there, depending on what I see deer-wise. Um, I'm going to spread some of this cat food around, the dry cat food, around where I put this. And then I'm going to put this inside the trap. And that should get a coon. Um, hopefully a couple of them. Then we can do raccoon pie.